hello and welcome everyone to yet another interesting episode of environment primer we have in in previous episodes of environment primer already have discussed the threat of invasive species on the native species and in today's uh, discussion we are going to analyze another big threat to the native species and this is the threat of climate change climate change linked events are becoming more frequent and more severe in nature and this in turn is really damaging our native species so the title of our today's discussion is climate change impact on native and non native species in this discussion we are going to study about how climate change is impacting the native species and we are also going to see why non native animals fare better than the native animals we are also going to see the need to protect our native species and in the end we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination so if i talk about the background of our today's discussion a recent study published in the journal name as nature ecology nature ecology and evolution highlights that climate change impacts on native species are more severe than on the non native species so this brings us to the uh, moot question of our today's discussion that how climate change is impacting our native species so climate change impacts are for uh, you know severely damaging the native species human activities have already damaged 75% of land and fresh water areas land and fresh water areas fresh water areas and 66% of the oceans and you might have heard about the iucn red list of endangered species and this red list states that a quarter of our native species are facing extinction are on the brink of extinction so climate change is adding to the fuel and it is clearly threatening our native species human driven climate change is increasingly shaping the earth living environment it is completely changing our biodiversity and ecology rising temperatures rapid shifts in rainfall and seasonality and ocean acidification are presenting altered environments to many animal uh, species so rising temperature and you know ocean acidification that is a phenomenon in which the acidity in oceans increases there is less oxygen due to that and the uh, uh, oceans are becoming more and more polluted due to the water pollution so this in turn is leading to the uh, you know threat of uh, uh, both land and water marine species okay climate change disrupts the environmental cues animals rely on to solve problems like selecting a habitat finding food and choosing mates so climate change is really showing its worst, worst impacts on our native species okay so changing temperatures shift the energy balance of ecosystems from plants that produce energy from sunlight to the animals that consume plants and other animals subsequently altering the sensory worlds that animals experiences so the worst impacts of climate change or the threat of climate change is completely altering our food chains due to the rising temperatures and other such climatic events what is happening the food chain uh, sorry food chain is completely becoming altered and this in turn is very uh, damaging to the native species it is likely that climate change will challenge all of their senses from sight and taste to smell and touch so the impacts of climate change climate change is impacting their nervous system nervous system and they are not often able to figure out that what to do how to take the cues from the environment and, and that is why they are losing their sight smell taste and they are also losing their uh, reproduction and food uh, and habitats etc so our native species are currently very threatened due to the worst impacts of the climate change in fact the analysts in this research point out that native terrestrial still animals tended to be hit hard by heat waves cold spells and droughts while native freshwater animals were generally susceptible to most events apart from cold spell so uh, the 
animals which are living on the land are you know not immune from the hot uh, uh, waves that are happening not immune to the rising temperatures that are happening and the uh, marine animals are already facing the polluted oceans so climate change is causing all of this and human activity is responsible for the change ecological and biodiversity change that we are experiencing because climate change is a direct induced impact of the human activity and i have already stated that 75% of our land and fresh water areas have been damaged and 66% of our oceans ha have already been damaged okay so this is a very concerning data and this study highlights the impact of climate change on our native species and agrees that we should take positive uh, steps as soon as possible to protect our native species okay now let us understand why are non native species faring better than the native species why are they not being impacted by the climate change how are they able to adjust to the impacts of climate change let us understand so non native marine animals were largely indifferent to most disturbances okay why the first reason is that they are non native secondly they are built in that way that they can adapt to alien environments so one reason non native species might withstand extreme weather more readily is that species are able to establish populations in alien environments tend to be those with high reproduction rates more adaptable behavior and uh, physiology and higher tolerance for disturbances so these non native species are very tolerant to the changing impacts of climate change they are able to reproduce they are able to adapt themselves as per the changing environment and that is why they are indifferent to the worse impacts of the climate change while native species it will take time for them to adapt to the climatic conditions and that is why the non native species are also a threat to the native species because when there will be survival a question of survival definitely they will survive and the native species will be harmed okay so due to their ability to uh, adapt the changing environment they fare better than the native species now let us understand the need to protect our native species see we are having already having a established food chain we are already having a established biodiversity and we humans are playing with the nature so what is happening is we are losing our native species at an unprecedented rate the millions of species on land in fresh water and in the ocean have evolved over millennia and form the web of life that sustains the planet we need to understand that you cannot exist alone on this earth you need other organisms as well because this is how our earth is built we are interdependent on each other but we humans are very selfish and we keep on damaging the other organisms and hence we are losing our native species species and their populations are the building blocks of ecosystems individually and collectively securing the conditions for life so they are very important for the existence of human uh, life on earth and we are you know constantly damaging them by our own actions the humans don't understand that if we will damage them in, in the Uh, this uh, damaging impact will come reverse on you that the humans will also be damaged if they are damaging the nature the nature will also damage the humans and you cannot exist alone on this earth you need other types of uh, food webs and you know other types of species to be interdependent upon okay they provide food medicine and raw materials they are the basis of soil formation decomposition water filtration and flow pollination pest control and climate regulation they are the primary source of income and resources for the hundreds of millions of people around the globe so th this is what i was explaining to you before also that human needs are very selfish and human uh, are not understanding that they need the native species and iucn red list has already mentioned that a quarter of our native species are on the brink of extinction so we really need to accelerate our positive impacts towards the mitigation of climate change we really need to check our activities we really need to protect our native species if we want sustainable development to happen if we want to sustain our own life on this earth and the faster we understand this the better it will be 
So with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have discussed that how climate change is impacting our native species. We have also seen that why non-native species are you know better off from the impacts of the climate change and we have also seen that why do we need to protect our native species because they are the building blocks of our ecology. They are the building blocks of our uh, biodiversity and we need this biodiversity for our own survival. So, this is why we need to protect them and we need to you know protect their fooding habitats and uh, we should uh, stop them from migrating also. So, we can we really need to take some positive steps in this regard. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is consider the following statements. Your statement number one is native species can easily adapt to climate change. Your statement number two is climate change is impacting the native species more rather than the non-native species. Which of the following statements given above is are correct? Your option R, option A is one only. Option B is two only. Option C is both one and two. And option D is neither one nor two. Kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is critically evaluate the impact of climate change on native and non-native species. So, firstly, we will write that climate change linked impa uh, impacts are becoming more and more severe, more and more damaging. Then you will uh, write about how are they impacting the native species by changing their food, fooding habits, by changing their habitat, reproduction habits. So, you will explain all of this which I have discussed in my discussion today. Then you will write that non-native species are mostly indifferent because they have a ability to adapt themselves to any alien environment and they can, you know, fairly better exist than the native species and that is why climate change and both non-native species are a big threat to the native species and you can conclude holistically that we really need to accelerate our positive uh, you know efforts to mitigate the climate change else we are we will be losing most of our native species and this is not good this is not good for human life on earth and this is not good for sustainable development as well so you can conclude very holistically. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found this video to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.